Hi, I'm Andrew, a STEM educator here at the Connecticut Science Center, and I'm at our butterfly encounter with Val, one of our amazing butterfly encounter assistants. Val, what do you have for us today? Well, Andrew, many people come to the butterfly exhibit to visit our beautiful collection of butter tropical butterfly and plant species. But I bet many of them don't realize what it takes to get the butterflies in here. Today, I'm going to show you just what it takes to get these beautiful creatures in our butterfly exhibit. Sounds great. Let's go. In order to bring the butterflies here, the Connecticut Science Center had to obtain a special permit from the United States Department of Agriculture, allowing us to host these insects. We do not raise our own butterflies here. Instead, we order them from butterfly farmers around the world. They come to us as pupae, which is their second to last form of metamorphosis before they emerge as adult butterflies. We have over 150 different species to choose from, and we receive 100 to 200 pupae every week to ensure a healthy population of butterflies for our visitors. Most people do not realize that the average lifespan of a butterfly is only two weeks for some species. The pupa arrived to us in the United States at a certified import facility. From there, they are rushed to us via FedEx. This process has to be a rush because these are live specimens that cannot tolerate big swings in temperatures. Once they are here, we bring them up to the butterfly encounter. From here, the pupae are carefully unpacked, checked for damage, vitality, and most importantly, any unwanted parasites or harmful insects that may have made the trip with them. As you can see, there is a great diversity among the chrysalis. They come in many different shapes, sizes, and colors depending on the species. We display the pupa in our emergence cabinet, which simulates their natural environment. In order to prepare the pupa, first, we attach the pupa to string using a low temperature glue gun. Next, we pin the strings of pupa to a foam covered bar in our emergence cabinet. Inside the emergence cabinet, the temperature is kept at a consistent 75 to 80 degrees and the humidity is kept at 75% to give the butterflies the best chance to emerge. Somewhere between one and 21 days, the butterflies begin to emerge from their chrysalis. However, they cannot be released immediately. Butterflies need to pump their wings to take their shape and to dry off first. Once they are ready, we carefully remove them from the emergence chamber and set them free in our butterfly encounter for you all to enjoy. Wow, I had no idea so much work went into bringing these butterflies here to the Science Center. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. You're welcome. And the next time you come visit the Butterfly Encounter, just remember, these guys travel thousands of miles just to be here for you. See you next time.